hello everyone this video is about context api what is context api and how to use it and we will explain it step by step okay so the first thing is that uh, let's see it uh, how it works uh, the context api is a state management tool for react uh, this is the built-in feature for the react js uh, as you know that before we had uh, the alternative for the react we have redux uh, there is the difference but we have the redux and uh, other uh, things that uh, we use for state management but the in this video we will just explain the uh, context api so it is a state management tool that uh, we would like to uh, st manage our state using this okay for example we have these components okay we have in our application we have these components and here we have the information of user okay and we would like to access it and uh, these user information in all the uh, components okay for example in these components are in this company in these company in these components okay but how to do it it is difficult to fast for example from parent to this child to this child then from this to this one to this one so it is very difficult okay so the user the context api is used just to manage this okay to access the these information in all components okay wherever we want so we can access them um, in our uh, app so let's create an example for this how to manage our state using context api so for example this is an example our react app okay we have this component okay this is for example our parent okay this app is our parent and this is the child a then inside child a we will call child d okay we will call these step by step okay so now to um, for example we have a username and we would like to access that in these components so for the context api to use that the first thing is that we should create a context okay we can you create that in a separate file but this is this is just an example where i will just import it here so let's import it create context okay this first of all we should import it from react now let's use it so to use it i will just use const my uh, for example user context is equal to create context and here you can just pass for example username and set username but uh, right now i will just pass here the null okay it is okay to pass undefined and null here uh, after uh, passing this null so now uh, the second step is just uh, to uh, wrap our components inside a provider we will just create a provider using this one okay uh, and let's export it okay because we would like to import it in other components export yeah so now let's uh, uh, provide a provider for this okay so to provide the um, provider so let's come here to the app this is our parent okay let's write uh, user context dot provider let's cut it down paste it here and inside the it we have the values now here we will define the values what we would like to uh, how and to access using this context so to first that let's first of all create a username const user name set username is equal to use state and let's pass it through this value now username and also set username okay to you update it back this is the value that we will access which is stored in this and this method is used to um, update back this uh, username so i will pass it through this provider okay whatever component we have inside this so we can access this username and set username uh, uh, in that component so now let's call this child, child a inside this child a that has imported by default and now let's uh, uh, call a uh, ch child d inside this child a yes we have called that so now let's access uh, our uh, this username okay the username that we have for example let's assign a default value okay this is the default value that we will access in this child d okay to access it inside that this is the third steps to consume it okay so to consume it we will just call import here use state hook from react so let's first of all import use context 
use context from react okay and also let's import uh, our context that we has created here in app.js in jsx okay in this one user context user context from app after importing this so now let's use it so let's distract our text in the user username okay that we had here a username and set username from uh, our context so let's write const uh, username and set username is equal to we will use use context and we will pass our user context to that so now let's uh, write it here let's just print our username username let's save it and let's wrap it inside uh, h1 tag okay so let's run our uh, client app npm run new so we will run our app so let's move to this url let's come here to the chrome yeah this is the uh, name that we has printed okay the default value that we has printed if you would like to update it so we can uh, just call um, this method sit username to update that name so let's update it okay so to update it let's create a button update name and here uh, whenever I click on that and click I will call and click event let's create an app arrow function and I will call sit username and I will just pass for example um, updated name okay let's save it and let's check it now just come here and let's press update name see the name has updated okay we have updated that from our child d component so it was all about using the context api there were three steps in that the first step was just to create a context so it is better to create it in a separate file and after that create the provider and just wrap those components you would like to um, access the public data do all uh, wrap those all components inside this provider and the third step is just to consume it okay so to consume it you will we will use use context hook and we will um, just uh, um, uh, take and uh, get our data and also update that so it was simple and to use it it is just for a small applications uh, but for a bigger application we can use redax and the uh, other one so it was all about the context api i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and thanks for watching